Good morning, good afternoon, good evening across the country, around the world. Welcome back to Cities Skylines. Had a lot of development going on over the last couple days while I was playing. Uh, this should be episode 8 now of New Hegara as our civilization recolonizes their former home planet. Uh, last I left off, we built the funny Squidward thing and I'd started this grid. No, I'd done this grid. I think this was next. Yes, this was next. And then I started doing something a little more symmetrical and I had these round parts and I was like, hey, you know what? That's squared off. Let's just make it a heart. And I did. I think I'll name it like the heart of Hegara uh, eventually. Not at the moment. Not immediately. But eventually. And these, these are yeah, low density, but three stars. Cool. Um, still no high density. But here we got the heart of Hegara. We got another neighborhood. Pretty beefy neighborhood over here. Uh, kind of squared off, but lots of little funny corners and, and dead ends, cul-de-sacs. I do like cul-de-sacs. I think it helps kind of spread things out. We got access here, access here, connects to the heart of Higara, and then access up here to our freeway connection. Built that in the last episode. Um, and then I took, and don't want to show you what's over there yet, took this road and connected it and curved it up to a nice sunken on-ramp, off-ramp. Or the freeway is sunken, I suppose. Traffic is a flowing. Um, and then I also put an on ramp, on ramp, on ramp, on ramp, on ramp, off ramp over here. And I started with some commercial. Um, I was all starting off at one and it was kind of tough. So I uh, stocked with a bunch of parks, a bunch of services, education. As you can see, buildings for them to level up, it says more services. That includes elementary, high school, and universities, even for commercial and industrial. If you want them to level up to the highest level, you got to provide those services as well as death service, uh, and then transportation. I don't. I didn't really have any transportation yet because I hadn't gotten there yet. But I went ahead and cheated, kind of, put in a bus depot and put in one bus line here around this section, just to give them that little bit of transportation. Um, that's all I'm going to do for the moment. I do want to get moving along with transportation. Um, I am going to uh, do a bunch of bus routes. Not so many that go through here, through the neighborhoods, but I'll do some that are more, um, you know, it's better. I'll do some that are more uh, down the main roads. Maybe one that like connects to the main road stuff and then cuts through the main throughputs of some of these uh, neighborhoods. Merp. Oh, that would be all jagged. So maybe just here, around, and to there. Anyway, things like that. Up and down the main roads, maybe cutting through the, the, the main arteries through the neighborhoods. That'll help get transportation going all over the place. What is that? You are already empty, correct? That's a different, like... Yeah, so that's a different icon. Building is emptying. Great. Actually, since you're emptying... Sorry, I've been going through and kind of handling some of the ooh, residual stuff that's cropping up here and there. Um, anyway, I got the commercial started up here. It's not too terribly impressive, impressively high yet. A lot of, you know, level two buildings. Those are fun looking. There's a lot of those. Um, but some level two buildings. Most of them are level two, I think. Um, I will get... I, I, I want to get the, popu the population, the residential spread through here, and then I'm going to start doing, um, what's it called? Buses, transportation. Uh, and then once I get the bus line sorted out, I'm going to have some metros, some subways. Uh, probably kind of a big, I think a big loop around here. Yeah, a big zigzaggy loop. That shouldn't be too bad. That'll help. Um, also, something I just did, because I want to have all this water clear up, and it looks like it's already starting to dissipate, which is awesome. Facility empty. Cool. Stop. With the emptying. Um, let's see the pollution. Yeah, it's drifting away. Awesome. So, as you can see, no more sewage outflow pipes or sewage whatever stations. Wow. Words. Struggles. Water treatment plants. Not just sewage, but water treatment plants. Um, get rid of all those, 
because in the farming area, these roads I wasn't um, populating with farms, so I plopped in some water clarifiers. I'd used them before in my uh, in the, the the Inland Empire realistic build, and um, they're pretty nice. They work pretty well. They they work as both a water source and sewage water is transported to the clarifier and chemically treated so it it's basically a pump and sewage treatment it recirculates like it's cool once you plop a thing it gets some outflow of sewage and then it turns blue and it turns into a water source so i got a bunch of these on these roads because they're not being utilized for that they're just for pass through there's not going to they're not going to generate any extra traffic they're just they're just there they don't take any workers they're just a service um so i got all my water and sewage needs meet me met with those guys uh, i can also add a few more Somewhere here and there, here, 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 here. I got places to add them, um, but I wanted to get that going and make sure I could get that going. So I did that off camera just now. That way we get this cleared up, because once oh, it's pushing all the gunky water out. Once we get all of this populated with peoples, I do want to start doing our leisure and tourism and leisure down here, hotels, casinos, and, and beachy stuff. Uh, yeah, that's that's my goal. So hopefully this will start clearing out fairly quickly, or at least it'll be clear by the time I finish up here. So that being said, um, now that I've done six and a half minutes of exposition, let's get to building. Um, yeah, I'm just going to leave this area as a big residential through here. Uh, I think, yeah, there's enough on-ramps here. You don't want them too close together. They'll just back up into each other. But I think um, after this builds up, I will do another offshoot down this way and put a, put a, probably put the trains, uh, probably run the train track below ground um, and do another on-ramp, off-ramp over here so that we have a little more access to all the residential stuff. All right. So, like I said, that being said, I say that being said a lot, don't I? Let's jump in. Wow, that's a little bit much. Let's do that here. What do I want to do? I do kind of want to keep things a little more of a grid, but I do want to stay away from swirly things. We might do some swirlies up here. Um, I think I might do it off of this line so that it's a kind of a funky grid over here. Yeah, we'll try that for now. We'll see where that gets us. Spooky cemetery. I don't know why I went all count Chocula on that. Oh, yeah, just fits. So I'm going to create kind of the border of it, I think. See where that takes us? Yes. Oh, ho, ho. I might, actually, I think I will do a curve around there. Just not yet. We'll do it here. Cool. Um, oh, snap. Come on. No! Ah! It's like one thing. It was one tile short of being uh, square. There we go. So here? Might have been here, though. Yes, I believe it was. Um, we can go there. Oh, and here we get into the hills. So I bet if I do this... Yeah. Nope. Don't want that. Oh yeah, something else um, I realized for some of my previous videos uh, while I was editing them, it was already it was already too late. But um, some of them had I think four, five, and six each had some issues with uh, the audio not being perfectly in sync. I would click and complete a lane, and you hear the boom late. Or early. Either way, it got a little messy. Um, so I've reset some things with fraps, trying different settings. Um, hopefully, this that improves things. It's just a kind of funny dog leg over here. Actually, can I go to here? Yeah. Kind of some funny inner roads. There, I'll track it here.
Like I said, I do like cul-de-sacs, and I'll fill in some of these dead spaces with trees. Uh, three, two. Yeah, that's okay. Um, anyway, uh, like I said, it was getting kind of glitchy and weird for a while there with um, with the fraps. So I have I. Sorry, trying to draw these lines here and I keep getting distracted. Um, so I have. Uh, um, that's residential, not a big deal. I have, like I said, reset some of the options, settings, if you will. Yeah, options and settings. I've reset some of that, um, like for my headphones and for the speakers. So that's what some YouTube uh, kind of tutorials suggested I try. Ooh. Beautiful. Alright, so let's see. So we got an inlet there. Um, don't want one too close to there. I don't really want one there either. Alright, so then that means take it here. Another one here. Yes, and oh yes, yeah, so I wanted to do something curved and fun here. Nope, too much. And it kind of follows that curve a little bit. A little more here. Uh, we're going to lose some of it anyway, aren't we? Well then, scratch that. We'll just go with... Good old... Uh, nope. Good old curve like that. And that should do. That gives us plenty of clearance away from that. I think most of these are far enough away from the freeway. They should be good. Alright, unfortunately most of these are big. Oh, wow, that's a fun area. Big, solid chunks. Big, solid square chunks. Nothing too funny. It's like big Tetris zones. That's cool. Huh. <laughs> Like I said, big, funny square Tetris zones. There. Oh, here's where it gets a little funny. Oop. Missed those edges. Um, no. Yes. This one, yes. This one, yes. The rest I'll have to draw with the square tool. Um. I forgot where I was. Anyway, hopefully the audio sync issues don't arise again. Uh, if they do, I apologize, but the city's going along too much for me to, to try to go back and fix anything. So, let me see. Come on. There you go. Alright, so that's there. Our water situation is pretty good. Let's pipe it up. Oh, and people are moving in already. Whoopsie. Wow, that was quick. And I know, I kind of did something that some... Uh, some, uh, maybe YouTubers, I'm not sure. Some people would frown upon. I filled in, like, everything. I zoned everything all at once. I know some people think that's kind of taboo, but... Eh. It'll stretch. The power will stretch. They will be okay. But at least they're getting water. In case I want some commercial there, I might. Alright. So they got water. That's cool. Now it's just the power. And of course, I build that little bit and my residential just <whistles> plummets. So, um, we'll just stretch some power along the back way for the time being. I think I must be in the first area that I zoned. And that's why they're moving in there. Oh gosh, where are we for time now? 15 minutes. All right, cool. So, I think we got 15 minutes. I think I'm going to cut here. 
um, and let this develop. Uh, probably flesh out some commercial along the main roads here. Uh, and I'll be back to you. Maybe I think I'll probably work on this big... This, this road over here as well. So I'll be back in just a bit. Alright folks, and we're back. Uh, gridded this out. Nice big twisty build. Kind of funny for providing services. Uh, I ended up putting quite a few... Uh, oh, that's death care, that's why. I put, you know, a few hospitals, or clinics, and fire stations, and police stations. Um, it's kind of hard when it's so zigzaggy for them to get all the way back here and provide coverage. But, did what I could. They should be okay. A well, crime rate is 5%. I'm not worried about it. The patrol cars are still going to make their rounds. Um, these are some nice long routes, too, so they'll, they'll probably get all the way around. Uh, and I also did some schools, so we're going to get those guys leveled up pretty quick. That's high school, elementary schools, high schools. Yeah, pretty good coverage. Um, so this area is developing nicely. It's really sucking up all the residential demand we could possibly have. And look, our population is over 42,000. That's awesome. Not really keeping track of my population build. Whoa, sewage treatment's going to need a bump in just a bit, though. I'm going to go ahead and pause there. I'll take care of the sewage in just a moment. But something else I, I worked on, I forgot to mention. You might have seen it. I'm sorry if I didn't, didn't point it out. Um, but here in the farming area, I have a couple train stations, a couple cargo terminals. So I got a couple of train terminal. Oh, I'm trying to work on sewage. So I've got a couple of uh, train terminals for cargo handling. Uh, and they are handling quite a lot. It's generating some traffic, but I think, uh, big picture, it's helping out alleviate a lot of the road traffic because they're going here and to here, and then those guys whoosh, disappear underground uh, through the area and then come back up. Let's see. Yeah, see, there it is. It's a big loop. Um, so those are helping quite a bit as well, um, alleviate a lot of the, the like I said, the... Come on, think. That alleviates a lot of the tractor and trailer and whatnot traffic on there. So those are helping out. Um, not really concerned about getting a pedestrian or a passenger trains set up too much. I might do a separate line, um, do a spur, a spur, a different line off of here. I'm kind of a big fan of separating things as much as possible. I think in my previous video I had one you know, outflowing line that was for freight, and one outflowing that was for civilian, pedestrian, tourism. Um, so we'll see. I might might do that, or I might just pull a spur off here. I will eventually want a station downtown. Probably want one down in the tourist area. Maybe do another one in here just to give people access to those places. But they're going to run underground anyway. Uh, but we're going to do a lot of metros, though. Probably have, like I said, a metro loop out here. Obviously, metros that connect from those places to downtown. Probably do one inner downtown loop in the in the crater here. Maybe another loop up here, but have them all link up somehow. Anyway, oh, uh, sewage, yes. Let's see. Let's go up here. This is a road that's not doing anything. So these water clarifiers, I got a few of them. Um, some of them will let you place them anywhere. But when I used those in my last city, uh, once I upgraded to After Dark, they complained because they didn't have road access, and then there was crime. Because they didn't have road access. They weren't being um, tended to by the police. No, I'm just going to go back. Um, but, oh, well, that's at least why I'm using these. I can't tell. Oh, that's not. No. There we go. So here, let's get, we got those going. Let's watch this. Oh, you do too have power, shush. So see, they're starting to get sewage and then they turn blue because of providing water. Our water availability is just ridiculous. Our sewage treatment is staying on track. I can also close up the water pumps. Oop, no, nope, wrong thing. The water pumping stations. Yeah, the water pumping stations that I have over, over here. I could close off those guys because I have plenty of of water availability with the water clarifiers, but we're not there yet. So, um, good. Residential's coming along. I'm going to, like I said, I'm going to add the other road that comes this way. 
Industrial demand is up again, so I might add, I'll probably add some more farmland here. These guys all have jobs. So it's fun. It's funny to see how it goes. Need jobs. Need, er, need people, no jobs. Need people, no jobs. It, it's all... It's all goes... It all waffles back. Our employment rate is 95. Unemployment, 5%. So doing pretty good there. Uh, incinerators could use a bump. Landfills are fine. I don't have any. Cool. So... I think we're right at about 20 minutes, and that's where I kind of like to keep my episodes. Yep, 21 minutes. So, this is episode, did I say 8? Yes, episode 8. Uh, thanks for watching. Thanks for hanging out. Uh, I hope the audio has not gotten too far out of sync. Out of sync. One, two, three. Anyway, little test for me. Thanks for watching. Thanks for hanging out. Um, if you like, hit like, hit subscribe, all those fun things. And I will catch you later.